Hi, this is John Campus, founder and CEO of Empist. Most people have heard the term dark web being thrown around lately, but many may not understand what it is. It's an important thing to understand, so today I'm going to tell you exactly what the dark web is, as well as how it can impact your business. The dark web is part of the internet that does not get indexed by search engines in the way that a normal website would. In other words, it is hidden and more difficult to access than the internet you and I use every day. As you can imagine, the hidden nature of the dark web makes it a popular destination for criminal activity. This includes things like fraud, the sale of drugs and weapons, and much more. The dark web can't be accessed through traditional web browsers like Chrome or Safari either. It can only be accessed through a specialized browser like Tor, which allows for anonymous and private access to the internet. This is a great benefit to those who use it. So how does this all relate to your business? The short answer is cybercrime. To use an example, a hacker could very easily find and purchase usernames and passwords belonging to the employees at your business. How is this possible? You hear about these data breaches all the time. Whether it's MyFitnessPal or Target, the usernames and passwords involved in the breach are likely to make it into the dark web where they get sold. Anyone who wants to generate streams of illegal income by monetizing stolen credentials can buy them there. Once purchased, they can use those credentials to launch cyber attacks against your users or even your business email or network. You can think of this as a robber walking to the corner store to buy a copy of your house keys that you didn't even realize were for sale. It's that simple. You may be wondering, is there anything I could do to mitigate this? One thing I strongly recommend is checking to see if your email addresses and passwords already exist in the dark web. You can do this by visiting haveibeenpwned.com. Check your business and personal email addresses, and if there are any matches, change the relevant passwords immediately. Whether you found your credentials listed on the dark web or not, a cybersecurity best practice is to avoid using the same password across multiple platforms. There are many free password management tools, such as LastPass or 1Password, that can help you accomplish this. I also recommend enabling multi-factor authentication on any account that supports it. If you would like more information on multi-factor authentication, check out episode two of Coffee with Campus. Lastly, contact your IT folks to make sure they're proactively monitoring the dark web for any domains or credentials belonging to your company. Catching compromised business data early can be the difference between a minor inconvenience and a cyber catastrophe. Thank you.